before operating the machine, thoroughly read safety and operation information in the operator's manual. The left multifunction lever button controls the row unit operating height. Press and hold the forward part of the button to raise all of the row units. Press and hold the rear part of the button to lower the row units at any time. When in the harvest mode, fully depress, then release the switch to lower all of the units down to the preset header height control position. Momentarily press and release the raise side of the button to stop the units from lowering. Press and hold the left side of the header height control button to raise the three left side units and the right side raises the three right side units. The header height control response rate knob is located at the right front corner of the armrest module. Turning the knob changes the command center work area screen to a graphic indicating header height response with a numeric value. Rotating the knob clockwise increases the numeric value and the header response rate making the system more sensitive to variations in the field surface. Rotating the knob counterclockwise reduces the numeric value and the response rate making the system less sensitive. Setting the system to operate with the slowest possible response rate while avoiding digging or pushing in soft or wet field conditions will result in the smoothest operation. Two row unit height sensing system set point buttons, one each for the left and right row units, are near the center of the console. Pressing either button changes the command center work area screen to a numeric representation of header height. Rotate the selection dial to increase or decrease the numeric setting and the relative operating height above the field surface of the associated row units. The header height setup menu button opens a screen which displays the electronic header height control or EHHC response rate. The initial EHHC rate and duration refers to the response rate and time when the system goes into operation after the row units are lowered to the EHHC operation height. A faster response rate may be desired to keep row units at the correct height at row ends as the machine moves from headlands and into the row middles. Select the initial response rate cell and change the rate to match field conditions. Depending on the row end topography, the duration of the initial rate may be adjusted by selecting the duration cell, then use the keypad to adjust the time. Press the default button to return to the original factory settings. The lower EHHC rate cell shows the normal response rate for midfield operation and is normally set using the armrest console EHHC rate adjustment knob. When stopping with the row units lowered, always raise the units before going to reverse to prevent damage to the height sensing system. Row units should be adjusted so the front picking drum is 19 millimeters or 3 quarter inch lower than the rear drum in actual field conditions. Turnbuckle links between the machine frame and the rear of the unit lift frames can be adjusted to accommodate changes in field conditions that affect the fore and aft attitude of the machine. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.